Uh, it look, doesn't it look kind of <laughs> ominous out there for Halloween? I'm telling you. Got a nice yeah, little cover, right? Spooky. Yeah, a little spooky out there. Now, we are going to continue to see the clouds sticking around for at least the next couple of hours and maybe a couple of sprinkles, too. But then we're going to start to see the skies clear out. And it's that combination of the clearing sky and the light north winds that's going to allow our temperatures to fall significantly. You think it's chilly now? Yeah, you're right, but it's also going to get cold by the time we get into the next couple of days. High pressure in place. Look at this. With the winds around that clockwise, we even have some lake effect showers and snow showers out toward our west. Nothing like that for here, but a little taste of winter coming our way as we head into your Wednesday and especially Thursday. We'll start with tonight, though. It is chilly, so if you haven't gone out just yet, just know that we'll have temperatures fall throughout the 40s. The next few hours after 10 o'clock, between 8 and 10, we'll have a couple more sprinkles in the area. Area. It's not going to be significant. It's not going to keep anybody soaked, but just keep that in mind. Over the course of the next few hours, the middle 40s become even the low 40s by the time we get into the early part of tomorrow, starting things off in the city around 41. We're already only 40 degrees at Mount Pocono. 48 right now in Trenton, 50 in Atlantic City. Wildwood was 50. Now you guys are in the 40s as well. So everybody pretty pretty much on par. Upper 40s, low 50s. It is going to be chilly and it feels even colder just because we were in the 70s and in some cases 80s yesterday. All right, so here's the task at hand. Navigating Thursday morning because we have our first freeze watch in effect. Everybody in blue, that does include Philadelphia, Allentown, areas across the Jersey Shore, Central, Southern New Jersey, and Delaware from 12 a.m. That's midnight Thursday through 10 a.m. Thursday. What does this mean? We're all going to be flirting with or even slightly below 32 degrees. You need to protect the sensitive vegetation plants out there, some of the last of the flowers. Just make sure you cover them if you can't bring them inside. I want to take you through a temperature future cast. Last half hour, we showed you the skies and the chances for rain. There aren't any after we get through tonight. In fact, we're dry starting tomorrow and all the way through the weekend, but the temperature Temperatures take the top headline. 39 degrees in Philadelphia by tomorrow morning. Many of us will be flirting with freezing in the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. Jersey Shore over toward areas like South Jersey will still stay in the 40s to near 50. Now we get to Thursday morning, and again, by midnight all the way through the evening hours, we're going to be looking at temperatures really cold. If you're in Reading, we'll be below freezing. We have 20s for the Poconos, 30s for the Jersey Shore, but look, Tom's River, Atlantic City, very close to freezing. And some of the areas, especially suburbs, as soon as you get outside of Philadelphia, could be closer to the upper 20s. We finally thaw out, though, by Thursday afternoon and improve significantly by the weekend. So Philadelphia makes it to 51 tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies at the shore and in the Lehigh Valley, 49 degrees. And by the way, tomorrow's going to be a nicer day. We're also going to wake up with more sunshine, keep more of that sun around. Now, Thursday is the next weather alert day. Yes, there's sunshine there, but we're putting that on there just so everybody realizes this is the coldest day of the season so far. Dress accordingly. Make sure the kids are bundled up as well. On Friday, 60 degrees, lots of sunshine. Then we move into the weekend. If, if, I mentioned this last night, we can get through the weekend without any rain, and it looks likely this will be the first weekend in nine weekends that we were dry. But the other big story is that temperatures will be closer to 70 than 60 Saturday and Sunday, and it doesn't look like we have any rain until Tuesday of next week. Stay with us. We'll be right back.